Before we get to that, we have the new developments uh, and we wanted to bring you the latest verified information. So two major announcements that will impact daily life, one in Washington, D.C. today and one here in our state. Governor Jay Inslee banned public events of more than 250 people in three counties. They are Pierce, Snohomish, and King County, uh, where we are also seeing restrictions on smaller events unless organizers take measures to mitigate the risks. So the ban covers social, recreational, spiritual, even large sporting events. Teams like the Mariners are now looking for new venues for their home games. We're hearing they may play in Arizona. Others are going on with games without fans in the stadium. Grocery stores and restaurants can stay open and will be asked to follow specific guidelines. Some downtown restaurants have already closed as a precaution or simply because their business is so slow. Seattle Public Schools closed today, closed until further notice, but at least for two weeks. Starting Monday, Everett Public Schools will close as well for a minimum of 14 days. Lake Washington and Shoreline Public Schools are closed until the 27th. Stanwood schools are closed for the rest of the week. North Shore schools, they are not having in-person classes and there is no blanket order to cancel schools. Enforcement of the ban will largely be by complaint. But Governor Inslee had a very blunt message today about those not following the rules. The uh, penalties are you might be killing your granddad if you don't do it. And I'm serious about this. The principal reason this is going to work is for people to understand the consequences of lack of community responsibility. So this graph shows what Governor Inslee is talking about. Social distancing is believed to drastically reduce the number of cases we could see. So as for the numbers right now, there are 29 deaths reported in Washington, most of them in King County. Now more than 360 total cases. It's important to note, though, that we're also testing a lot more people, more than 3,400 so far as more tests are being done. Those numbers are expected, of course, to go up. Well, today the virus was declared a global pandemic. We'll get into just what that means. Sounds kind of scary. It's important to note this. By definition, that just means that this is a new virus with sustained person-to-person contact and it's spreading in countries all over the world. However, concern about a global spread is responsible for another huge restriction tonight. Just a little bit ago, the president announced a suspension of all air travel from Europe to the U.S. for 30 days, beginning Friday. The United Kingdom, not part of that restriction. There are some other exceptions, and we'll talk about those later. All right, we've got a lot of guests to get to tonight. We're going to learn a ton. Our first two guests include the Secretary of Health for the State of Washington, Dr. John Wiesman. And also here with us tonight, Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin. To both of you, thanks so much for coming in. We're going to get to viewer questions as well in just a moment, so just hang tight for that. But I want to start with you. We heard in just the last hour from the president a travel ban for folks coming from Europe to the United States. What's your reaction to that? So I don't have all the data on why they thought that was necessary. We obviously have to do containment. It wouldn't have been the first step based on what I know. I think the number one thing we need this president to do is declare a presidential emergency so that we can get access to FEMA funds in Seattle and across the nation. We're going to need them desperately to do some of the work we need to do. This is as bad as any hurricane, and that's the number one thing I think we would like the president to do. I was able to meet with the vice president. We put in some very specific requests to him as a city um, and a region, and we're hoping that we get that back from him as well. I know that you have your finger on the pulse of the business community. The president in his speech tonight talked about $50 billion in small business administration loans, perhaps, that uh, could be used to help small businesses. We're already seeing a huge drop off in business for a lot of Seattle businesses. What can be done to help them meet payroll? What can be done to mitigate just a uh, destruction of them? So this is a focus of ours, very much so, and of the governors. And we've looked at a suite of packages because it's not just the large businesses. Our small businesses are really going to struggle and their employees are going to be out of work. And so we need to make sure that we can, you know, just as in the healthcare system, we have to take care of the most vulnerable. In our economic system, we're really trying to make sure that we can take care of those low-wage workers, some people without sick and leave, mm -hmm. and also for those employees. So the governor's giving them more uninsurance, you know, the unemployment time. We're looking at a suite of things for small businesses to help them on a range of things from everything from suspending their having to pay their B&O taxes so that they won't have to pay that out of money and looking at a whole range of things to really help our small businesses. 
Dr. Wiesman, hang on for just a second, because also within the last few minutes, we heard <laughs> that the NBA is suspending all games, which is going to have a business impact across the country. Uh, what do you make of that, suspending games indefinitely? I think it's a, it's a move that I think is very bold. I know the NBA and all the sports people have been looking at what do they do. I think it is clear that while Seattle is the first, and unfortunately we're often the first in this way, in a way we wish we weren't, mm -hmm. um, this virus respects no boundaries. And those cities and regions who are starting to see it, it will increase, and they need to get ahead of this. You know, the, the actions we took today, the governor took, the county took, and we took, really will help, we think, stop the spread of this virus, which is so critical. And I think that every business in America, every community in America, is going to have to make some sacrifices. This is going to be a long haul. Yeah. I think we can get through it, um, but it's, there's some tough, tough roads ahead for Seattle. But pulling together, everyone pulling together, I think we can get through it and be stronger at the end. Things are changing e even as we speak. Just in the time that we've been on the air, we have just heard <laughs> that the Seattle Archdiocese has now canceled all Catholic masses in this area. And also a staffer for Senator Cantwell's office has tested positive for coronavirus. So lots of new developments. Um, I want to get to you, Dr. Wiesman, Secretary of Health for the State of Washington. It seems like our country may have been caught flat-footed on this. We knew months ago this was going to be a problem. Give me your assessment about how we've responded so far. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, first of all, I would say that we know this is a very serious public health we've, a threat. We've known that from the very beginning, and we've been planning for that and prepared. The thing that I think is important for the public to understand is really this is spread primarily through droplet spread. Mm -hmm. um, and so you want to be covering your coughs and you want to be staying home if you're ill and not touching your face, you know, unless you've washed your hands. So we each have a responsibility here in terms of this response, uh, in terms of our own personal uh, 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 efforts as well as the efforts that the governor and that our uh, regional leaders took today to banning uh, these large public gatherings to reduce and increase our social um, distancing from each other. So while this is a new virus, um, this is not a new response. While we don't have a drug to treat this at the moment and we don't have a vaccine, we do know what to do. And we need everybody working together, caring for each other uh, to actually see us through this. And I'm confident that we will get through this.